Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Anib Hamid with the top stories of this hour. The World Health Organization has reported a record one-day increase in global coronavirus cases, with the total rising by over 307,000. The coronavirus has infected over 29 million people, claiming more than 924,000 lives across the globe. India has registered 1,136 deaths and more than 92,000 cases overnight, taking the country's caseload to over 4.8 million. In Pakistan, four people have lost their lives to the virus in the past 24 hours, taking the death toll to 6,383. The negotiating teams of the Taliban and the Afghan government have held their first meeting in Qatar's capital, Doha. Taliban spokesman Dr. Muhammad Naeem said the two sides discussed the mechanism of dialogues and the schedule for the upcoming meetings. Talking to media, Afghan chief negotiator Masoom Sanikzai said there was a positive spirit and nothing controversial was discussed during the meeting. Libya's eastern-based government, aligned with the commander Khalifa Haftar, has resigned after protests. Head of the Tobruk-based government, Abdullah Al Thani, submitted his resignation to Aguila Saleh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. The United States and Iran will face off today at the International Court of Justice in a battle over Tehran sanctions. Iran's official lawsuit says sanctions brought back by President Donald Trump breached the 1955 Treaty of Amity between the two countries. Tehran moved the ICJ in 2018 after the US pulled out of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Yoshihide Suga has won governing Liberal Democratic Party vote for leadership and is poised to become Japan's next Prime Minister. Chief Cabinet Secretary Suga bagged 377 of 534 party votes and is a top contender of parliamentary poll on Wednesday. Well, that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.